Mongolia is a landlocked country located in Central Asia, bordered by China and the Russian Federation. With an area of 1.5 million square kilometers, Mongolia is the 18th largest country in the world. The official language of the country is Mongolian, one of the oldest and most developed languages in the world. Mongolia is a land of diverse cultures, blending Mongolian and Russian traditions. It's also famous as a boundless wilderness, a country full of sunshine and wind. The typical landscape in Mongolia is high mountains covered with snow, steppes stretching endlessly, along with meadow valleys and immense lakes. In addition to the endless green of the savanna, Mongolia also has the gigantic sand dunes of the Gobi Desert. This has attracted a lot of free steps to come here, where you can watch the vast skyline, sway on camels, cross hot dunes, and watch the stars in the night sky. However, that is still not enough, because this vast land also possesses many interesting things that not everyone knows. So watch this video to gain more perspectives on Mongolia. The world's most sparsely populated country. In contrast to its vast territory, Mongolia has only about 3,512,000 people, with a population density of 224 per square kilometre, making it the most sparsely populated country in the world. The majority of Mongolia's terrain consists of steppes, hills and deserts, so it's not suitable for people to live in. The alpine formations of Central Asia surround Mongolia from multiple directions, creating a barrier that isolates the country from the moist air currents of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Therefore, Mongolia's weather is influenced by a harsh continental climate, with long and cold winters, short and hot dry summers. Besides, the Mongols are also struggling to cope with climate change. Desertification is currently impacting 76% of Mongolia's land, causing it to become more arid. According to analysts, not only climate change, but also excessive grazing of cattle on grasslands has caused an imbalance in nature. This situation can only be improved if there are fundamental changes in the way cattle are raised. Step Horse's Hoof Mongolia has long been famous for Steppe Horses Hoof, which owns the largest herds of wild horses in the world. The Mongolian wild horse is called Piazuolski. This horse breed is one of the symbols of ancient fauna in Mongolia and was discovered around 1880 in the Gobi Desert area. All Mongolian wild horses alive today are descended from nine of the 31 horses kept in 1945. During that time, the London Zoological Society collaborated with Mongolian research teams to conserve the animals. Livestock programs have been successful in recovering the Mongolian wild horse population, with numbers now reaching 1 500 individuals in just 50 years. This wild horse breed is one of the most famous war horses in the world. They have a balanced body, bloated chest, slim abdomen, strong forelegs, and the body is reddish brown or dark brown. An adult Mongolian wild horse weighs about 250 to 300 kilograms, is 1-3 meters tall, and has a length of 2 meters. Because they are trained in the harsh weather conditions of Mongolia, they have high endurance and run very fast. These horses can detect danger from a distance of 300 meters and run away immediately at a speed up to 60 kilometers per hour. However, since 1960, this rare horse has been listed as a high-risk animal of the Red Book. Currently, Hustai Nuru National Park in the Anchen Ridge is home to the wildest horses, with about 300 horses. Sagsai Golden Eagle Festival One of the most awaited festivals of the year in the Anchen region is the Sagsai Golden Eagle Festival of the Kazakhs. This is an opportunity for wildlife enthusiasts to observe numerous giant golden eagles as they soar over the vast savannas. This festival is organized by the Mongolian Eagle Hunters Association on the first weekend of October every year in the vast Olji region. Here, the hunters will bring their tame eagles to the competition. The competition aims to choose the one with the fastest and most accurate hunting speed. This unique festival was featured in a popular documentary film, The Eagle Huntress in 2016, and made a big impact in the international community. It's called the wildest and most fashionable festival in the world. The image of prairie boys riding on horseback with a golden eagle perched in their hands has become a symbol and pride of the ancient Mongols. It shows the strength and ingenuity of nomads who were able to tame both the wildest horse in the world and this dangerous bird of prey. Coaxing ritual for camels. Mongolia's Gobi Desert is home to the largest population of Bactrian camels in the world. It has a special body structure to adapt to wind and sand 
and is the main means of transport for nomadic herders. Thanks to their incredible fitness and high stamina levels, since 1997, every year in March, the Mongols will hold the Gobai Camel Festival to celebrate the importance of this animal. This two-day event includes many different competitions related to camel culture throughout the Gobai Desert region. The nomads will wear their best costumes and ride on their most beautiful camels to attend the festival. In 2016, the parade of more than 1,000 camel riders in this festival was recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records. But that's not the most interesting thing. Mongolia also has a festival with a special name, Coaxing Ritual for Camels. The event was recognised by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent protection in 2015. Bactrian camels are usually 13 months pregnant and give birth to only one or two cubs at a time. However, the harsh climate in the desert, along with the temperature difference between day and night, has caused many mother camels or baby camels to die during birth. Often baby camels and mother camels who have lost their children need each other to survive, but don't have any connection. Therefore, after centuries of living in the desert, nomadic herders in Mongolia have formed a unique musical ritual that brings them closer together. This ritual takes place at sunset. It requires skillful camel control skills. At that time, the newborn female camel will be tied to a baby camel that has lost its mother. After it, they would perform the ritual with a single Morin Kua player and another would rub the mother camel's neck and sing the rustic lyrics passed down from their ancestors. Translated into English as why are you rejecting your dear baby camel? It wakes up in the morning and waits for you with pursed lips. Please let it suck your abundant milk. They also imitated the natural sounds, running and roaring of the camel to convince it to adopt the baby camel. I don't know if they understand the human language, but after hours, the mother and the baby camel began to shed tears and become closer together. This happens like a miracle, and it was clear that the sound and activities of the ritual have a calming effect on the soul, arousing the motherhood of the animal. This ritual is also performed when mother camels refuse to accept their newborn offspring after a particularly difficult birth. In 2013, the ritual gained global recognition after being featured in a German documentary titled The Story of the Weeping Camel. The coaxing ritual for camels not only demonstrates the bond between humans and animals, but for the ancient Mongols, it also serves as a reminder of the importance of patience and the power of love. Beautiful women will be lonely. In the chronicles of Mongolia, people not only praise brave armies with strong and majestic men, it also depicts Mongolian women with the beauty of toughness and strength, completely different from China's delicate beauty. Mongolia is a land of nomads. From birth, they have been trained with the necessary skills to adapt to the harsh living conditions in this steppe region. Whether men or women, they are capable of riding horses and using bows for hunting. In a Mongolian family, the woman, besides being a housewife, must also learn how to do all men's work, from setting up tents, taking care of livestock and chopping firewood. From ancient times, the Mongols thought that if the man unfortunately died, the woman must continue to take care of her family and livestock. Therefore, compared to women in Asia at the same time, Mongolian women had more voice and more equal life. Even women with good hunting power and skills will be elected as leaders of the tribes. It's also the reason that nomadic men in Mongolia often choose girls with good health and toned bodies to be their wives instead of marrying beautiful girls. However, that is not entirely true of Mongolian society today. Life after thousands of years has changed a lot. Getting married is no longer an option, but it must come from a couple's love. The nomadic women also didn't need to do as much heavy work as before. They can learn to dance and sing. Mongolian women today are still very strong and tough, but that is the power of the mind and the toughness of the soul. In addition, many people also spread the word about a unique Mongolian custom of welcoming tourists. The male travelers who come to the house will be invited to eat the head of the goat and be warmed by the bodies of young Mongolian girls. Those are interesting facts about Mongolia. If you have any other interesting information about the country, share it below the comments and subscribe to help the channel grow. Now, goodbye and see you later in the next sections.